give us some updates on Culex, Johnny, even though I know the answer, you will say it better. Well, the answer is $75,000, Alex. Uh, and what is the <laughs> what is the maximum amount I can put in my QLAC if Wait I put a minute. In, Stop. Where's Vanna? I put Vanna? in 125,000 last year. Would you bring in Vanna, please? I want to see that dress. So yeah, the uh, the IRS uh, through Secure 2.0, I believe, said now you can put in $200,000 into your QLAC, which means you can waive your RMDs all the way to 85, get a single or joint lifetime income. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. And we're seeing a lot of $75,000 cases because people mm -hmm. who believe in QLAC already put in their hundred and a quarter. Right. And there's no more formulas. Of course, the government, when they first came out and John and I were, you know, they, everyone asked our opinion. Sometimes they listen, sometimes they don't. We're like, make it simple, make it simple, make it simple. Of course, the first one, it wasn't simple. There's some formula. It was crazy. Now it's 200,000. If you have $200,000 in your IRA, you can buy QLAC. And what the government is doing is saying, hey, that other annuity that you own called Social Security, best inflation annuity on the planet, let's let's add to that income floor using IRA money. That's all they're trying to do. OK, and you should be doing that anyway, because, you know, chapter two of your life is about, you know, going and living your life and lifestyle and the income floor that you establish. And QLAX, the only thing I'm going to say about QLAX is that do not buy QLAX for the tax savings, please. That should be the third reason. First reason is lifetime income. Second reason could be under the first one, which is joint lifetime income if you want to add a spouse. Another reason would be if you want to combat inflation with income starting at a future date, because anytime you attach a COLA or any type of increase, the annuity company doesn't give that away. But then the last reason would be the savings on your requirement of distributions because the money in a QLAC is not used to calculate RMDs. But people call me all the time, I'm going to buy this just for the tax savings. I'm like, you're going to buy an irrevocable contract and you don't need income for the tax savings? And I always tell people, please stop letting the IRS live in your head for free. QLACs are great, but the tax savings should be, or potential tax savings should be an ancillary, secondary, tertiary choice do you agree with me john yes or no uh yes uh, i do and i think that the uh the dead giveaway is is the uh, name of the contract qualified longevity annuity contract so this is people for people who worry about living mm -hmm. for a long time we we recently did a case with a hundred thousand dollar deposit on a guy in his 60s this hundred thousand dollars produced lifetime income at age 85 of over 35,000 a year. So you put in a hundred and get back a, lot, a series of lifetime payments of 35 grand. Now, before you're like, that sounds like too much to me. Well, he had to wait 20 years to get the first right. payment. And he, he may or may not be alive at 85. Right. But if you're talking to your dad on his hundredth birthday, then the odds of you making it out there are high, then these are for you. Hey, Stan the Annuity Man here. Did you like that little taste of my podcast, Fun with Annuities? Hey, if you want to see the full version, click the link and watch the whole darn thing. Remember, fun with annuities, live in the reality, not the dream.